Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel today. Hey, I just picked up this Black & Decker model CS1518. Uh, it's a 18 inch uh, corded electric chainsaw. Um, the reason I got a corded electric chainsaw is because um, like most homeowners, you have you use them here and there. And if you get a gas model, you know, you have to mix the gas and oil. It sets up for a while, then you have starting problems. And what I have found um, in my experience is a corded electric chainsaw for around the house needs, uh, you know, pruning trees. Uh, if there's storm, any, any limbs down, stuff like that, you can take care of it with a, a, a corded electric chainsaw and they do great. And you never have to worry about starting them. Okay, so I've taken the chainsaw out of the box and I just want to show you some of the quick features that it has. It comes with a chain bar guide uh, scabbard there so you can protect the chain like that. It's really nice. That's, that's something that you always want to keep on your chainsaw. Keep anyone else from getting cut if they reach anywhere close to it without that scabbard on there. You can cut yourself with the, the chain there. Um, some of the features that I, I like about this chainsaw is it has a hand brake. So, you know, if you want to start using it, you want to pull that brake back. But it, as a safety feature to lock everything down, push it forward, then you, you can't pull the trigger. And even if you um, hit the quick, it has a quick release button here. So even if you click that quick release button and pull the trigger, this will not take off as long as that chain brake is pushed forward. So before you ever get ready to use it, make sure that you do have it pulled back and you use the safety feature button and then you can uh, engage the trigger and the saw will start. This saw weighs 12 pounds, so you know, it, it weighs as much as, as an average 18 inch chainsaw does. So you're not, if you pick up one of these, it's not because it's light duty. I got this particular saw because I have a couple of trees that I need to cut down from last year. I thought maybe they were gonna make it, but I don't. now I know they're not. Uh, I'm gonna have to take them down. I had a small, um, you know, 12, 14 inch blade uh, electric chainsaw, but it's, you know, probably 10 years old and it, it's finally given up the ghost. So some of the features uh, I wanted to show you on this one that I really like is this particular uh, chainsaw has an Oregon bar and chain, which are top quality. Uh, it is a self oiling uh chainsaw so you don't have to you know pull the little trigger to all put all on the chain or anything here's the uh just spins that off and you can add your uh, bar chain oil and back on there and it's got a little sight glass here so you, you can see when you need to add oil one of the things i wanted to show you too is a lot of people will just you know go out and buy um, hd 30 weight oil to put in these but it's best to make sure that you get a bar chain oil to use in these. It works the best. It's what they're designed to use. So if you do pick one of these up, make sure you get the bar chain oil to go with it. It does not come with this. So you have to purchase this separately. Okay, as I mentioned, this has a 15 amp um, high efficiency uh, electric motor on it. So it's, it's fairly powerful. One of the other features I wanted to show you is that you don't need any special tools to adjust the chain tension. Um, and this is, I want to show you right here, this is how you can access the chain. So if you twist this and just spin it all the way off, you can see the cover comes off. And you can actually, this is the actual adjuster. Now I've already slid this on and, and you want to make sure that chain is on this back gear here when you're putting it together. It's very simple. The chain comes separate from the bar in the packaging, but you just loop it around and then come back here and loop it here and take the tension out and then that holds it in place. To put the cover back on, just push it up there against it. Again, take the little center piece, there's a you know, threaded screw behind it. That's what holds the cover on. I really like this because after you've used it for a little while, you're going to get some sawdust and stuff um, in there. So just finger tight this. This is the part I really like about it. When you're working before, you'd have to have a special tool. You'd have to take the cover off. There was a nut adjuster. You'd have to loosen the nut, pull on the bar, 
hold it, tighten it back down. With this one, all there is to it is you can see the chain is snug. If you just take the outer part and you can see how it, how that dropped down, you want to tension that up. You just finger tight. You want to have it where when you pull down and let go that it, it pulls itself back up there. And the other thing you want to know is that after you've used it a little bit, this chain will stretch a little bit. So you will have to adjust it some after you've actually used it a little bit. That's not unusual. Um, anyway, neat feature. No tools needed. So if you're out, you don't have to stop. Go back to the shop, get your wrench, to adjust the chain if it gets a little slack in it. Just hand tight right there. I'm fixing to take you outside. I want to actually demo the saw for you so you can see what I'm going to use it for. Okay, so uh, we're outside now and I wanted to just kind of show you how I connect these uh, power cables so that they're, they don't come unplugged while you're actually uh, making a cut. Um, Black & Decker recommends that you don't use an extension cord. You want to use a heavy duty three prong extension cord over 50 feet, um, which 50 feet around the house uh, should be plenty. So when I put these together so that they don't come unplugged, I usually wrap them like this and then plug them together and then pull. So that way if there's ever any pull, you can see it's not gonna come undone. Okay, so this is one of the trees that I'm gonna be taking down with a saw. And I wanted to show you, it's, uh, you know, it's probably a good 25 foot. Uh, I have already pruned some of the, the limbs off of it, but I wanted to uh, show you, I've got some, as you can see, some smaller to medium sized limbs, but then when you get down here, you got a little more uh, girth to the uh, tree. So we're gonna be cutting all of that down. Okay guys, so just so you know, I'm left-handed, so it doesn't really matter. You can use this saw left-handed or right-handed, either one. Um, just wanted to show you this quick feature. As you pull the safety switch, as soon as you let go of the button, hit the trigger, immediately the chain stops. That's another safety feature. And the chain bar lock doesn't even have to be in place. So anyway, let me just show you a couple of cuts here. I'll show you one on one of the bigger limbs here. Do you remember what I told you about the chain getting loose? Look at that. That's just natural stretch after you've used it the first time. And again, all you have to do to snug that back down is take that outer, see, right back in place. Great feature that they've come up with. Guys, hey, don't forget in the comment section below, let me know which is your favorite electric chainsaw. If it's not Black & Decker, let me know what model you like. If this has been helpful for you and you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me. Um, don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get. Make sure you have a great Thanksgiving. And until next time, stay safe.